it was just a nice old area. And it's the oldest residential area in town. Some of the houses were deteriorating and so forth, but it had a charm. And one of our garden club members lived up there, and she loved it. And we started talking about, you know, this, this, this is unique. And most of the town council members, they just curb and gutter and everything. They didn't know, really know that area was up there. So I had this wild idea. First we had, okay, there was a big rezoning fight. He wanted to make West Street uh, get rezoned into townhouses. And I may live on this side, but what you do to one part of the town eventually eats over into another part. That's what you can't teach people. Yeah. You, you've got to care about the whole fabric. So the people up there started to mobilize, and I joined their crusade. And when it was all over and the townhouses were denied, they decided to have a picnic at Judy Betts Law, uh, which was a very old house that is now gone and a very nice new house has been on it for years. And so, of course, we were invited to the picnic, it was all the residents. And, you know, joy, 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 we won, we won, we won. And I said, you know, you, you won this time, but you really ought to do something to get the rest of the town knowing it. Come up here, see this, see the gardens in the spring and everything. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. We'll do that next spring. Well, we're getting close to next spring. They haven't done a thing. So, bless my fellow garden club member. I said, Madge, we ought to do something. So I went to the garden club president, who was a wonderful person, and I said, Anne, under the auspices of the garden club, do you think we could have a spring event up here? She said, go for it. <laughs> so we got together some of the residents up there, and uh, we established in, I think it was 1976, it's been going for 30 some years now, Walk on the Hill, which is every year the last Sunday in Maple, in, in April, and pray because then it's going to go to the first Sunday in May if it rains. And the town band didn't used to be able to play on that Sunday, so you, were, you lost your band concert. So we got, I won't go into getting all the residents to think this is great, Tidy up your yards for spring and, and, you know, let people stroll through your gardens and everything. And we'll serve free punch and cookies. And we started the walk on the hill. And wham, people just appeared. They came from out of town. And it was just a lovely Sunday afternoon wandering the neighborhood. So then, and... Uh, Dick DeAngelis, who lives over in uh, is it Snow, what is it, that place over in Maryland? Snow, Snow something, an old, old, old town, researched uh, the houses up there and got the history of each. And um, then, so we, you know, we thought, how do we protect this area? Make it a historic district. So all the information was assembled about the age of the houses prominent people in the town who had lived there, like former mayors or something. And Greg Hemry over in the town planning department was wonderful. And finally, kind of an overlay ordinance got drafted to take care of that. And that got official recognition as a historic district.